video çekiyorum. <gülüyor> arkadan geliyor. Burası olmaz. Bunda mı sanıyorsun? <gülüyor> evet bu Defne. Bugün okuluna kesin olarak karar vermiş bulunuyor ama evet. hala çok stresli. Size update veriyorum. Ee, hala zorlu mu farkında? <gülüyor> Bir de giriş mutlu. <gülüyor> Defne'yi vlog çekmesini söylüyorum. Ama benim çok dinlediği söylüyorum. Az Değil mi? <gülüyor> Yorumsuzum. <gülüyor> Ha bugün okula gitmiş Defne. Evet. Ben de iki gün önce gittim. Ay bir diplomamı aldık. Diplomamızı aldık. Öyle. Bu e, şeyin de sonuna gelmiş bulunuyoruz. Neredeyse Güzel bir olacağız. yurt kaldı. Evet. Ve biz... <gülüyor> i̇ki tane çok önemli olmayan şey kaldı. Ya hiç. <gülüyor> Allah Allah kadar <gülüyor> yaşarız. <gülüyor> Don't paint me thankless. Just have to say this. No, you down the way you move. Lost in your face. Good morning, guys. Um, so it's the fifth of Monday. Today I am going to go to an eye appointment, eye appointment before Germany to see, like, to just get my eyes checked out and make sure that my number hasn't grown or anything. Um, so right now I'm getting ready for it. I'm wearing a sweatshirt because it's really really cold and if you can see, don't see the mess, <laughs> I have a, like a maxi skirt underneath and like a normal white t-shirt, so yeah, that's the outfit for today, um, I'm gonna head out in like half an hour and today I am also supposed to hear from my university that like all of my papers reach them and everything is okay and like I can relax hopefully that's the answer and yeah my university is University of Hamburg by the way like I haven't really mentioned it because since the last video a lot of things have changed so yeah um, I'm really excited for it I'm I just can't like when I think about it I just can't sp stop smiling like for the other universities that definitely was not the case and like University of Hamburg definitely feels like the best option for me so I'm really hoping that everything goes well I know that everything will go well I don't want to say perfect but it's like the perfect place it seems like now I have like one or two visa papers I am going I have to deal with uh, so I'm gonna do them before I head out and I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far I hope it's not boring like I'm preparing for Germany so this is what I do my life's boring when I can do anything else as you guys probably on the eye appointment or when I get home or something.
you'll never know Never know, no, no I said my peace, I let I it be it. The cards <laughs> are not hard to Arkadaş çok stresli ev bulamıyor. Ya <gülüyor> bir <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> üstünde netlemiyor şu an. Ha <gülüyor> netledim. <gülüyor> Video çekiyorum. <gülüyor> evet yani anlat ne yapıyoruz? Dizi izliyoruz bu arada. Bu belgeler hazırlandı. İkimizinki de orada şu an. Bayağı bir şey ettik. Uzun uzun uğraştık. Bitti sonunda. Hadi bakalım. Sonra kafalarına vuracağız. Evet. Okay, I think I remember what they said there. I think she she said we are going to wake up at 6 a.m. and we're going to ask other like our friends that already had the appointment if anything went wrong and was like yeah we will wake up at 6 a.m. but we would but <laughs> but we both knew that we wouldn't wake up at 6 a.m. so I think we were talking about that. But it was so long ago. I don't I still don't even remember anymore. Yeah. Um, enjoy. Ne öğrenmek için? Diyeceğiz ki. Ne Ne kaynı? Ya aldı da girmemiş olacaklar. Evet. Biz onları yani mentor olarak hazırlayacağız. Ya da 15'te girecek insanlara soracağız. Size ne sordular diye. Sonra hazırlanacağız birazcık. Sonra eksperye var mıymış onu öğreneceğiz. Varsa ona göre hazırlanacağız gideceğiz. Ama şu an bayağı hazırız yani. Külçe gibi kağıt var. Bir tane kağıdın kalınlığını göstermek istiyorum. Şu kalınlıkta bir dosya ile gidiyoruz yani. Bu benimki sadece. Şurada da Ceylin'inkiler var. Evet Ceylin ve süslü pembe dosya. Benimki beyaz sıkıcı. Gerçi üstündeki kırmızı ama. Görüşürüz de Ceylin. Okay, another intermission break. In this clip we were so stressed. We are going to learn what happened later. But just know that we were just incredibly stressed and I woke up like with almost a heart attack. Değil, anlat. Başımıza gelenleri. <gülüyor> ben mi anlatıyorum? Sen anlat. Ya da oturduğumuz yerden. Evet, oturduğumuz. Video çekiyorum onu. <gülüyor> ne? Yok. Çok güzel. Çok güzel. Çok güzel. Ne için? Sigorta, ATO bir şeyleri için. Sonra da gidiyorum. Neden? Ama anlamıyorlar. Sen bana sonra İngilizce mi çekeceksin? Alt hızı geçeceğim. O yüzden güzel konuyu. Sonra biz taksiye bindik. Bir süre sonra da Beşiktaş'a gittik. Ben hiçbir şey anlamıyorlar. Ben başlıyorum. Sabah günaydın. Sabah bize randevu. Calling a 
Hi guys, so it's going to be one year later after I filmed all this videos almost exactly, exactly one year later and I'm back at the summer house so I just decided to do an update on and like how I like explain about what happened with the University of Hamburg because it's just there's like a little um, gap there so on that day where I filmed like a clip of Jalen like waving her hand like on that day we were at Kadukei which is like a really famous place for to go to shopping in Istanbul and I was like buying a present for Eran was my like friend and he had a birthday the next day so we were like really happy i was really hopeful for the future <laughs> and i was like everything's going well and i'm going to be accepted to university of hamburg because i was actually accepted I actually received the document i sent over like some some other documents that they needed like my um i don't know my diploma or i don't even really remember like some additional stuff that they needed and i was like it's going to it's going to be okay everything's going to be fine and then I was like just buying the presents and at the register I just received this email that I wasn't accepted anymore to the University of Hamburg and they basically said that my German level, like my German proficiency <laughs> basically wasn't enough for me to study in the University of Hamburg Jokesha! Yeah, I was just really surprised and I didn't know what I was supposed to think and I was really like sad and I didn't really understand what it it was a problem so i just quickly called and text like this advisor that we had throughout all this process and she knew like everything that was supposed to happen and she was she basically said like this yeah happened before with university of hamburg like exactly like me so um i was like what what, what should we do because it was like at the end of the process where i didn't actually receive a lot of acceptances at this point like i received some acceptances until this point but i haven't returned to them because i was waiting for the other universities that i was hoping to be accepted to like berlin or munich and then in munich they basically said that they didn't even receive my documents and in berlin they basically pulled names out of 70 names that had had like best uh marks and i was one of them like i was in the 70 but i I wasn't one of the shows i think 12 or 16 or something like it was pure luck and i didn't get i didn't get accepted to that university and like hamburg felt like the best option felt like the perfect option and i was like i'm definitely going to hamburg i just like looked up the city and everything i was like i'm going to stay here i'm going to be really close to berlin which is perfect because my brother is in berlin already and Jaylin wanted to study in berlin as well and i was like this is perfect to our train ride i will go there all the time <clears throat> yeah and then <laughs> they didn't really accept me i was like really lost i was really hopeless i didn't know what to do because like as i said the acceptance process was coming to an end at this time of the year it was like at the beginning in the middle of september so i just had like i think three more universities that i could turn back to accept their acceptance to so i was like okay then i should pick one of them like it was good that i had a plan b but they still felt like university that, universities that i didn't want to go to in the first place because they were far away from berlin they were small cities which i didn't really want at the register <laughs> i was really shocked and the lady there she she didn't even understand what happened she, she like looked at me and i was like can i pay later or something and then we went outside and i just started crying because i was really sad and it was all like so i was so lost and it, it was all a blank because like i didn't even have a university and i didn't know in which city I would study in. I was just so lost and I didn't even know if I wanted to study medicine and you know it was just a lot and thank god Jalen was with me at the time and she was like there's a try to calm down and they will basically they will, they will probably accept your um, German proficiency because I had actually two tests that proved like I have they wanted basically C2 German and I had in one of the tests it seemed like I had C1 but that's like the highest point you can get and the other one is actually my IB diploma like which is the general diploma program that I made which also counts as a German proficiency test and in there I basically had a C2 because I had a 7 out of 7 which is like the highest point you can get etc etc and like I basically had the German proficiency that they wanted but 
I didn't have the tests that they wanted. I, they just basically wanted some names, like some specific tests, and they wanted to see C2 on those tests, which I didn't have. It was like really, I don't know, it felt really kind of stupid. But yeah, that's that is what it is. And on that day, we just we just went back home with Jalen, and I basically told my mom. I cried a bit more, uh, and on that evening, I was like, I was also accepted to Hannover, which is also a two our ride to berlin but i had really like no idea about hanover whatsoever i just i probably heard the name like one time in my life i just knew that they had like a medicine program which is which was quite good and it was also a kind of program where you like in the first two years instead of doing just theory work you also do like other stuff with like um stage <laughs> practical i was like okay so i will write that as well but i it was like a plan C or D, in my opinion. I was like, I should make a choice right now, if, whether I want Hamburg or Hannover. And I basically, basically chose Hannover because I was like, it's basically done with Hamburg and I'm done with Hamburg. <laughs> I don't want to hear Hamburg's name anymore. I'm like, and I, I won't go to the city as well. It's a bit dramatic, but like, yeah, that's how I felt. When I explained it like this, it feels like I didn't even want to go to Hannover, which is actually kind of true because I was so focused on Hamburg and I was so focused, um, on the fact that it was, I thought that it was the perfect city for me and I thought that um, it would be like the perfect option and I just, I don't know, I just dreamt all of these stuff that I would do and dreamt my life there and so like changing it drastically to Hannover to a city that I have really no idea about a city that is smaller than Hamburg, I was still sad and I was still like crying this is not going how I imagined it would go and I'm I won't be happy in Hannover and so and then my mother basically offered to go to Hannover and kind of see the city and if I still don't like it I can just change my idea and I was like okay yeah let's go and we went to Hannover uh, which is actually the next vlog that you will see I'm really happy that we went I'm currently studying in Hannover <laughs> Um, a little spoiler for you. I know that I haven't posted in a, posted in a long, long time. I think two years or something. Um, but I just want to show my journey and how it came to Hanover and how my life in Hanover is currently going. And if you want to find out, um, what's it, what's it like for an international student in um, Germany is like. Um, stay tuned, and you can subscribe if you want, and you can kind of see what. I did during my first year of medical school. Um, exciting! And um, watch the next vlogs that will come to the channel because um, I have like five vlogs that basically explain how I moved to Hanover, or four. I have like one vlog that basically explains the first two weeks of um, medical school, and then I have like small clips throughout the year. I think I'm gonna do like a recap um, and kind of explain what happened through the year and how I'm feeling about it and how everything's going and i like like the first year is really the hardest year so after first year it's gonna supposed to be um a lot easier i think i'm gonna do a lot more vlogs in the second year because i'm supposed to have a lot more time so i think i'm gonna spend it a lot more on filming and just videos so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> 